Hello there, my name is Nick Moore. I am the production director at a company called Mindset Communications and I would like to extend a very warm welcome to you to this first video blog in a series which is going to be looking at how to plan for your annual conference. This series is intended to appeal to really anybody who's in the uh, live events industry who has an active role in organising maybe the annual conference itself or a departmental meeting maybe even a corporate golf day or booking a boardroom meeting. You might be a PA to the managing director, you might be an event executive yourself or a communications director. I'm wanting to share with you my experience over the last 15 years of being a producer, uh, to share with you some of the pros and cons, the pitfalls, the highs, the lows. Uh, I hope that you will learn uh, from this series and maybe uh, be able to use some of the information in your daily roles. On average, the video blogs will last two minutes because I appreciate that you are very busy people. And you can also find a downloadable PDF document which gives you a slightly fuller picture. So, let's get on with topic number one, which is why should I run a conference in the first place? So, why should you run a conference? It's a very, very good question, especially in this day and age when you have iPhones and Blackberries and Skype calling and video conferences, etc, etc. Many, many cheaper ways of communicating to your audience. Well, they all have their place, but realistically nothing, absolutely nothing is as powerful as a, an annual conference or a live event where you have a face-to-face -face environment, where you can actually get a group of people together and have that group synergy and group dynamic. It just doesn't exist in an email. Um, and if you're a managing director or a senior manager, you can appreciate that almost the holy grail, if you like, is to have this thing called team spirit, because team spirit very often equals profitability on the bottom line. You know, people are united, they work together, they share ideas, the, uh, the, the productivity goes through the roof. And this is something that you can generate at a live event um, that you just can't get realistically with, uh, with an email or a letter. So traditionally your annual conference may split into two halves. It may have a, a review in the morning and a look to the future in the afternoon where you share your strategies and goals and objectives. But there's a much, much deeper level to any annual conference. And that is that it's a, a wonderful opportunity uh, to get all of your experts together in the room at the same time to share all of their experiences, the best practice, uh, and for them to network. And I say experts because Let's say you've got 500 people at your conference. That's 500 people who, in their daily roles, are expert at what they do. The sales team know the customers better than, better than anybody else. The finance people know the financial structures better than anybody else. Marketing, distribution, etc., etc., etc. So doesn't it make sense to get them in a room together and to get them to work together rather than just cascading information to them? It just doesn't make sense just to sit them on the backside and talk to them for six hours. The other uh, side to the argument is uh, never to underestimate the power of the social element. If you have a gala dinner, reward your uh, audience. They've worked hard for the last 12 months. You know, buy them a nice bottle or a couple of bottles of wine, nice food, a nice venue, lay on some nice entertainment. Because the memories that they create at that particular event will inevitably last weeks, months, even years. And it will generate momentum and, and motivation. And that motivation will be carried forward uh, going ahead into the future. And extra motivation usually equals extra profit. Because realistically, your live event is not about technology. It's not about the presenters telling the audience some key facts and figures. It's about people at the end of the day. And people make up companies. I hope you've enjoyed this first video blog. I look forward to seeing you again in two weeks' time when the next topic of conversation is going to be objectives, themes and stuff.